I'm Mike Dinas, and this is Pinball Shenanigans. Alright, we are back at Whirlwind, and just working on cleaning the playfield, trimming up some mylar. It's come, well, you know, a fair way since part number one. I forget what the hell part we're on now, but it's it's been a long one. Um, about as long as my Lord of the Rings. I think that was like ten parts or something. This might exceed that at the rate this is going. But uh, you can see I removed the other couple discs, and they have found a new home. And I have been... Basically, I've been focusing on the big piece of mylar, the main piece, right? Let's zoom out a little bit so we can see better here. Okay, so here. This is the edge. It goes here, it goes here, it goes here, and around here, and around here, all the way around here, like so. So this piece of mylar, I've just been cleaning it. It's easy to clean mylar. It's basically plastic. I've been using rubbing alcohol and magic eraser and the trick to actually making it nice is you got to get your fingernails right in the edge of the mylar because the gunk builds up there I use rubbing alcohol and fingernails basically and magic eraser and once you get all around the edges it cleans it up so much better that corner there see that's what it kind of looked like but you get your fingernail in there and it gets rid of it completely but that's actually art it's like um, lines for the mylar uh, what do you call this I forget uh, the technical name for that but yeah so let's see if I can give you an example here see this orange line here let's zoom in yeah that's I'll show you right there this little area here you just get your finger in boom doesn't that already look so much better Ew, that doesn't look better so fingernail around the edge of the mylar really cleans things up so uh, once I get the cliffies on here that'll look nice anyway this is how I've t decided to strategize with some rogue mylar before I just kind of cut straight down into the play field and I made some lines by cutting. I've also determined that I don't like my red color match at all. It kind of looks spotty and not amazing so I'm gonna probably uh, redo that at some point with a better match. My red looks pink. I don't know why. But I don't like it. So I don't want to cut straight down and make lines like I did before so this is what I wanted to show you what my strategy is just kind of working around the loose mylar with a brand new razor blade being careful not to friggin cut into the play field and I did that right here. See that? Exactly. You can't. There's a little U shape out of there of mylar I trimmed out. Cleaned the edges and boom. Much better. It was just air and, you know, air under the mylar and dirt. This is kind of a wonky, bigger area. But, can you see that? Just kind of following the air bubble. I don't want to get into too much adhesive. I think this is where I'm going to just end this piece for now. Before I get onto the insert. There we go. Here's the piece of mylar. That is garbage. And then I just got to clean up this area with my uh, 
rubbing alcohol and magic eraser. And if I do that enough times, eventually, as you can see, I'll have to get in there a little better, but yeah, look at that. Already much better. I love it. I gotta work my way around here next. Can you hear that? I can make that better because it's right near the edge. If it was in the middle of the play field, like these guys, I just don't think I'm going to touch these because it sucks, but it's just going to cause too much trouble. I don't want to risk it. So that is the main area I'm just going to have to live with. But that's the worst of it for the most part. So a million plus looks a little weird. Should almost cut that right out and put in a brand new million plus insert decal. Hmm. That might be pushing my luck, but oh, there's a little air in there too. But it doesn't look bad. So I'll probably just leave that. But you know, if it gets too much air under some areas, your ball's rolling around the play field, and all you hear is like you don't want to hear that too much. Anyway. So let me uh, keep trimming away and then I'll show you what things are looking like. All right, you ready for this big piece? Come on, baby. Please, no art. Please, no art. Please, no art. I already see black on the back. Come on. Ooh, a little bit of more black. Ugh. Few specks. Yeah, there we go. That'll clean up nice. I like it. Alright, I did a little trim here, a little trim here, a bigger trim all the way around here. It's not exactly a perfect line. But that's okay. And cleaned off all the adhesive. So that area looks much better. Pretty happy about that, actually. So, all right. I was just doing the easy stuff, like the center main area. Now I should probably move on and thoroughly clean the top half. From here up, that's going to be my next goal. All right, actually, I should show you before what this area looks like. Oh man, it's going to take a while. I can tell you that much. Getting in all those nooks and crannies. Uh, I'm going to start right here. Yeah. All right, making some headway here. Hey. My paper towel. I fell back. I got some tools on the play field and I've lifted it up. But what I wanted to do was remove the switches, the five switches. One, two, three, four, five, to get them out of the way for cleaning and replacing they are in bad shape and look at this okay hey where'd you go whoa okay so look this switch here wire broken off this switch here uh this switch here wire broken off that one goes to this switch this switch here two wires broken off so Maybe, just maybe one of those wires was causing possible short and that might have been part of the problem I was having with the machine not working. Definitely um, a lot of broken wires, so if one of those happened to be touching, I don't know, like solenoid voltage or something, a little vibration caused it to touch solenoid voltage, I, you would think that would blow stuff up though. 
but anyway, so now that those are out of the way, that's going to make cleaning go a little better, but I'll show you the progress I've been making. And this is the kind of progress I like. Not the spending five episodes on messing with boards. Uh oh. Good thing I had my lid on. Okay. So, remember I started here? This is the area I've been working on. Okay, so let's get all this crap out of the way. Been tediously cleaning all the nooks and all the crannies, like I said. It's coming out pretty good. I haven't gotten that corner yet. I've got, you know, I've removed the posts and cleaned under all of them. I'll deal with the posts later. Ah, uh, look, yeah, so I have much, I'll probably clean in these holes too. They're probably dirty. Look, that gives me good access there. There's where the other switch was and the other switch over here. So without those in my way, that'll make cleaning go a little better too. But I'm just starting to work over in this area. This is really green compared to that blue there. I wonder if that's just the way the sun was hitting it or what, but mm, I guess the art here is green. Look at this green line here to green zone. Then this is blue to blue zone, so is that supposed to be green like that or is that just fading? I'm not quite sure, but anyway, I don't know if that's going to come much better. But, you know, from afar it's starting to look good. I'll just keep scrubbing away and hope to have basically the top half pretty much done by the end of my time tonight. But yeah, it's looking good. I'm, I'm liking what I'm seeing so far. Alright, just uh, did a little more trimmage. See this area right here? You can kind of see the edge of the mylar where I trimmed. It was pretty bubbly. And then another zone over here. See that? It's behind the pop bumper. You can't see it. But I wanted to do away with it. So, still doing a little trimming. But check this out. Look at underneath these posts, the difference in, in color. <laughs> the play field has yellowed slightly in 30 years. Crazy, eh? Alright, I'm going to get rid of all this adhesive now. Looks like I might possibly trim that edge, maybe? We'll see. But, it's coming along. All right, still cleaning, 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 more cleaning. I've removed every post and then just lightly put it back there just to clean under it and then eventually I'll clean all the posts or replace them or whatever I decide to do, but still got lots of areas to go. You know, unscrew these and then you can kind of push it one way, push it the other way, clean under there, good. Obviously I haven't got in here yet. It's kind of just jumping around different areas, but you know, I uh, haven't jumped into this area yet, but that's kind of, I guess, the before of one of those zones, and here is kind of the after of one of those zones. So getting closer and closer, but just some tedious cleaning, but that's, that's what playfield cleaning is all about. Clean the back of the switch. It's a little burnt, maybe. Get my Dremel on there. Uh, yeah, so it's coming along. Like, take an aerial view. You know, from up here, it's looking pretty good. I still got all this to do, but I'm starting to kind of get this corner. But I just removed. Well, I removed this first and got under there, and then I removed this guy. Look at this. That coil. 
I don't know about the transistor for that, but I'll definitely be replacing that coil. That has seen better days. I may have one in stock. So I'll clean all the gunk in here. Even looks like some burnt coil wrapper right there. I, it, it actually sends the uh, play field. You can see the wood's darker right there. So I'll put that on my mental note. I mean, my board guy would probably catch that, but I might almost just say, hey, you might want to double check the transistor for the kickback because it's probably fried. I'll maybe just send him a photo of this right here. Yep, so more discoveries and then this will be next. But yeah, so it feels like progress. I haven't touched the pop bumpers yet. I'm saving those for a rainy day because they're not my favorite things to do. They're still pretty grimy. But I feel like I might be able to just clean them up. We'll see how that goes. But yeah, so my back's sore. Ugh. I'm going to wrap this up, go play some Mega Touch, and have a beer. Thanks for watching.